John, another piece in the jigsaw uh, arrives at Wraith Rovers. What's uh, Frankie going to bring to the squad? Well, Frankie's a, a centre back, you know. Uh, so we've been looking for a centre back, obviously. I mean, Dave McKay getting his cushion didn't help. Uh, so we're a little bit like light in there, you know. And he's a good age at 22. He's one of the younger ones, maybe for to develop. I mean, he's only on a one-year contract, but we'll see how things go. Uh, if he can impress, as I believe that he, he will do, then you know, down the line we can, uh, you know, we can maybe extend that contract. But with with Dave McKay, is a, a, sim, a similar type of age, and with Dave being out for the season, uh, Frankie is not necessarily just a replacement. He's one that we look to kick on as well, and he's a he's a real tough, strong uh, defender. Uh, but he'll be he's good in the ball as well. If you, you look at some of the the YouTube clips as we probably you know as fans probably do, you'll probably see that he's got a, a good strike on him as well. He's uh, scored had a, a, you know a great goal from long range. And he's had a couple of efforts and keepers have made good saves from. When you see some of the YouTube stuff. He's been at Luton since he was a, a, a right young boy. He's played through all the use. He's captain the teams there. He's got leadership skills. Uh, you know he's a a good defender first and foremost. He's got a bit of pace about him. He's got a bit of you know dig about him, a bit of aggression. He's brave. So you know he's going to give good competition, uh, fighting the places with, uh, with, with Davo and Benny, uh, Fernande. Uh, so we can go with two centre backs. We can go with three centre backs as we do. Uh, and I think it'd be good, you know, driving out for the back with the ball as well. So he's he's got a lot of you know positive attributes got yeah and I understand he is with the same agent as, as Manny uh, is that a sign that um, the English lower leagues are a a good source for players for the Scottish Championship yeah definitely you know uh, you can see that as I mentioned before like Hamilton have signed players recently uh, from MC, FC Manchester United I mean St. Johnson have brought a couple of guys up from Millwall but these guys were all, like one was on Monty St. Albans and uh, you know, it's another non-league team. You know, uh, Sutton United. Uh, so, you know, a, a lot of players are coming up from from non-league setup, and uh, you know, I think this, the Scottish league, and particularly in the Championship this year, with, with Hearts in it, I think it's uh, attracting players wanting to come up here and play. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Frankie arrives. There's still a couple of little spaces in your squad. Um, uh, are we likely to see those being filled by the time training starts? I don't think so. No. no, I think we've got a bit of time now. You know, we've got a bit of time now. So, uh, we're training starting Monday, really. So, you know, I, I don't see. I mean, I've got. I, you, you can never tell. You know, we've got a few irons in the fires. I mean, the, the striker is a priority. You know, another striker. I think is, we need another striker definitely. The wide player. You know, we could be a little bit imaginative there and see within the squad if we can do something. So um, we're not in the. You know, we, we, we're not now desperate, you know, mm. we're uh, still getting players uh, coming to us from agents, you know, again, all over the place, still daily. Uh, so to be fair, it'll be nice to be on the training pitch and knowing in front of your computer, looking at games, <laughs> and you'll still be doing it, but, you know, it'll be nice to get a wee break from the telephone going and agents, and it'll be nice just to get out in the training pitch when, yeah. when that comes. Uh, but, you know, we, we're still plenty of time you know, so you know there'll still be a, you know, a lot of players will become available in the next, you know, weeks leading up to us, you know, getting started into the game situation. Yeah, yeah. And finally, um, another sign that football is getting close to coming back. Uh, League Cup draw was made yesterday. A good selection of opponents. Uh, whether we play them home or away, you looking forward to those? Oh, definitely. No, I think it's a great uh, group to be in. You know, I think that last year's group, we all the amount of travelling in it. Obviously, a league campaign starting and having an early trip away to Stranraer and a, an early trip up to Ross County Colts and the Challenge, uh, Challenge Cup. Yeah, I made it right. You know, a real lot of travel at the start of the season. So, looking at that, regardless, if we get if we could get Inverness at home, it would mean like very little travelling at all. Two derbies, uh, Cowden Beath, East Fife. Yeah, no, even if we have to go up to Inverness, well, it's one journey. We'll be second sight in Inverness between the cup final and then the league games. And obviously Hearts, so that's great. You know, I'm really looking forward to to that. I think it's uh, it'll give a right good test for us going into the league campaign.
Great. Well, you've got training to start next week, and that's your next objective. But for now, John, we're going to say thanks and good luck, good luck again. Right. Thanks, Neil. Cheers.